Hey there, my name's Catherine Jemmett. Today's video blog in association with Asquith London will be looking at Pilates in sitting. Do take a look at my first video blog, Pilates in standing, as this gives the basic technique from which we'll be working today. Okay, so the first thing we need to think about is the height of the chair. Recapping from my first video blog, Pilates in standing, our centre, or position of the pelvis, is vital. We're looking for a neutral pelvis, where the pelvis is upright and the two hip bones and pubic bone are in one level plane. To achieve this comfortably in sitting, the pelvis needs to be above the level of the knees. If the seat is too low, i.e. the pelvis is at the same height or below the knee height, we can see that the pelvis wants to push backwards. Straight away, the upper body compensates by collapsing forwards. Our centre slumps. If we find a seat where the pelvis is above the level of the knees and the angle of the thigh slopes down towards the knees, it's so much easier to achieve the neutral pelvis comfortably. As you can see, the neutral or upright pelvis, as with standing, enables the upper body to fall directly over the centre. So now we've found the correct height of the seat, let's look at applying the basic Pilates technique as before. So neutral pelvis. Our base, or two hip bones and pubic bone, are in one level plane. It's also useful to find your sitting bones to form your base, with equal weight through each sit bone. Having found neutral, we can then build. So take a breath into the back of the ribs as before, draw the abdominals backwards and upwards to lengthen the waist, and as we breathe out, soften the breastbone and close the rib cage down over the neutral pelvis whilst maintaining the abdominal length and support. This, once again, forms our powerhouse. So now let's build. Take a breath into the back of the rib cage, being careful not to break open. Draw the abdominals backwards and upwards. Soften the breastbone and close down the rib cage over the neutral lengthened pelvis, breathing out, to reinforce your powerhouse. As you do so, widen your collarbone without disturbing your powerhouse and allow your arms to hang off the ends of your collarbones. As before, we can now bring in opposition to activate length and strength. So take a breath into the back of the rib cage, maintain your abdominal length as you soften the breastbone and close down the rib cage over the neutral pelvis. This time, imagine your tailbone lengthening towards the floor and at the same time, lengthen the crown of the head long and away in opposition. This strengthens your powerhouse and once again forms your strong centre from which your arms, head, neck and shoulders can move freely without tension. So whether you're writing or doing computer work or eating, your centre stays strong and long to enable your upper body to remain free of tension. This will considerably reduce any upper body discomfort such as headaches or neck and shoulder tension because the energy remains centred to support the frame, allowing natural movement to flow. I do hope this has been helpful. If your seat isn't adjustable, do use cushions to raise the height. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. My next video blog will be Pilates in walking. Thank you for watching.